I'm going to do a little uh, project this time around and it's uh, basically a rolling pin and it's a multi-axis rolling pin yeah it's going to be a bit fun so it's uh, based on one that I've seen on the internet and it's, it's done by a woodworker there and a wood horner he's around a long time in the USA and Mark Sierra his name is and he's Basically, I've just seen pictures of it in the, the woodworking journal uh, from America, actually, and that's all I've seen of it. And I've worked it out how he's actually made it, and it's based on the same principle: how to turn it. If you turn the leg of a chair or the leg of a table with it, with a bend, and it basically on the lathe. So that's how it's basically done. That's the same principle as what he's used. That's how we've worked it out anyway, how to get it. But I've made one, I haven't got it here now. But I'm gonna have a go and making another one with this piece here. It's basically done on three three axes. So it'll be on three three markings. I basically have a one, two and three, one, two and three. So it'll be in between the centers and this lot piece that I have here is way over the size that I need. Well, I'll turn it down to the shape that I want, okay? So the whole lot, when you turn it, it's basically a rolling pin that is basically just for a bit of fun, out of shape. <laughs> and that's basically it. The one he has is called some Home Something Security, he calls his one anyway. But uh, this one, no, I don't know what name you could put, put on it. You can call them whatever you want yourself. A tire thumper or something, or, or you could just hang them up on the wall in your kitchen for a bit of fun. People, it'll get people. It'd be a great uh, talking piece anyway around the table. <laughs> if you hand it, anybody gets into cooking, it'd be a great present to give to them because uh, they won't be able to do much uh, baking with it anyway. Okay, so I'll stick this on the lathe, and you can see how it's a uh, few shavings off, and see how it's made. Okay. I'll just give you a quick lowdown on what the markings are in this. I've got three three centers on it, okay. So you basically have your middle center. And I have three markings. And I have them in, in three colours, okay. So number two is your center, your normal center colour, okay. So what I did is on on this end, off the middle center to the left. I marked another center, seven mil from that center out to the left. Okay, I marked another center, and I marked that number one. To the right, fifteen mil, I marked another center, and that's number center number three. So you got one, two, and three, and this is B. This end down here, this is A on the left. You got number one off of the middle center number two 30 mil off this side and off of number two to number three is seven mil so basically from two to three on this end is 15 from two to one on this end is 30 so it's half there see and then it's half again, just about half, it's seven mil there. And then that, that's half of the piece again. You'll see why that's half later on. Okay, so that's just a rough idea what the measurements. And then you basically turn, you, you mark, you line up from number one to number one. So number one goes directly to number one. Number two, goes to number two and number three goes to number three when you're putting them between centers. Blank is between centers and I'm going from <clears throat> point number one to point number one on centers. And I use a 5 8 ball gauge to rough it down and I'm roughing down side B on this side first. Okay. So just take a nice and easy this is gonna be a bit wobbly so you have to go nice and slow.
Okay, that's the right hand side done. Let's take it out of the between the centers. All right, and that's number one on the left, number one on the right. I'm gonna move around to number three on the left to number three on the right. Okay, you can see what I mean about the bend, like the leg of a chair with a bend in it, or the leg of the table. Okay, just roughen this side down now into a cylinder. Okay, we have a uh, blank roughed into a cylinder on the left and right, and you can see the bend there now. Now you'd have a bit of fun now rolling your pastry out with this. Hmm. Now, what I'm going to do is set up a gauge and make both sides the same, to, like as you do with a normal roll up here. Okay. Okay, just gonna give it out a quick wipe of sandpaper and then move on to this side. I'm just going to clean this up now with the skew chisel. Now we're just going to give that a little sand on there and I'll take you on to the next mill. Okay, <clears throat> next move is on the center two. Two on this end and two on this end, which is the true center of the blank originally. If it was a normal blank, it would be the true center, okay? Which is the one that you measure off, okay? So pour on number two on this end, which is the blue one. Two on this end. Two handles on the ends of the, of the pins. 150. We go there, that's the center. Okay. That one. And that one. The other measurement was wrong. That's the true center. Okay. I'm just going to get a spindle gouge here now. 
and just put two scour that down. Start off. Just wobbling up and down like a crankshaft. Just to remove the bulk of this wood here, it's just in the way. I'm just going to sand up the ends of this, okay? Get a sanding on the ends and I'm going to put a little bit of oil on it. Okay, just put some oil on it there and I left it overnight. This is the next day. And I'm just going to cut off the ends of it here with a with saw. Just sand up the sand up, sand up the bottoms of it there now and I'll show it to you. There you go, there's the finished project. Here we go, a multi-axis rolling pin. So when you do get it, it's actually four different axes in the end. Because I know they might be on centers, but nothing is going to be straight on it in the end, right? Okay, that is off there, that is off there, the middle is off. As you can see, so it's as bent as they say is an S hook. <laughs> so it's just a bit of fun, just a bit of fun, that's all that you can say about it. Your rolling pin should be straight, <laughs> okay? But this one ain't straight. So I just want to give a shout out this week to a, a, wood, a woodworker, a wood turner, and his name is Peter Brown, and he has got a wood turner. Wood, uh, wood turning channel, woodworking channel, and he does all sorts of uh, videos there. On um, he has epoxy, uh, eyes, loads of project projects every week. He has something different. So uh, I'm gonna put a link down below. Check out his channel. He has great stuff to offer there. He's got a lot of fun stuff as well. So check out Peter's channel there and have a look and see what he has to offer. Okay. So we'll see you all again soon. Bye now.